The person surnamed Lin has gone in. Let's go too. Uyang Yuanqing pointed to the secret realm and said with a look of impatience. Uyang Feng was also a little tempted. There may be a lot of treasures in the secret realm. If you enter the secret realm first, you can get the treasures that may exist first. How can you be content with such a thing? With a big wave of his hand, put down the boat and prepare to enter the secret realm. The large group of Uyang family members behind them were ordered to lift up the small boat at the stern, throw it into the seawater, and prepare to approach the secret place by boat. But they still took a step back. At this moment, not only the Uyang family and the Wu family are entrenched near this secret realm, but also some small families or scattered people in Qinghai city. Although they are not descendants of the previous generation of chosen ones, they don't know what the secret realm is. However, after the secret realm appeared, people from the three major families would always leak some news. It was these news that attracted a large number of small families and scattered evolutionists to come here in an attempt to enter the secret realm. They were driving small boats, and they were much more sensitive than the Uyang family and Wu family who were driving big boats. At this moment, many of them had already approached the secret realm. He frantically rushed towards the secret realm, but what a result. All of them hit the airwall, slipped from midair, and fell into the seawater. After struggling a few times, a large number of mutant beasts were attracted to gather here, attacking the evolutionaries who fell into the seawater. Not long after, the seawater near the secret realm was dyed red. The rest of the evolutionaries were horrified, and they didn't dare to approach the secret realm anymore, and they drove back in their boats. Yang Feng and the others were also shocked. What the hell? Why can Lin Yu get in but the others can't? Wait a little longer, don't get on the boat. Yang Feng raised his hand and ordered. On the other side, Wu Hongyi, Li Yucheng and others who had boarded the boat also climbed back to the big boat. They haven't seen clearly what's going on, and for a while, neither advance nor retreat. At the same time, Lin Yu passed through the water film, and the place where he appeared the next moment was a small island, not too small, and the island was lush with countless trees. The host has completed the optional task and obtained a diamond treasure box 1, a third order strengthening stone 10, and a power crystal 30. The system's prompt sounded. Lin Yu didn't have time to pay attention to the rewards given by the system, and encouraged the wings of the sky to fly forward. Before flying far, suddenly there was the sound of crowing and a lot of flapping wings in the jungle below. Looking down, Lin Yu yelled shit. In the jungle below, countless mutated strange birds were flying towards him. The detection system scanned, and the attributes of those mutant birds appeared in Lin Yu's mind. Mutant Sparrow, First Order Mutant Beast, Physique, 189. Strat. 183 Agility, 225 Spirit, 198. Ability. Fatal Peck, Are These Sparrows? Lin Yu looked at the birds with a wingspan of more than one meter below, and clicked his tongue, they are too scary. It doesn't matter if there are too many, even in this group, Lin Yu saw many second order mutant birds. They are larger in size, with a wingspan of more than 3 meters. The sharp bird pecks are like a dagger, with a cold light. If they want to take a bite, they must cut a hole in their body. Cursing secretly, Lin Yu raised his hand to summon Thunder Fury, which landed on the flock of birds below. With a bang, dozens of strange birds were hit instantly and fell from the sky. Then there are Wing Slash, Wind Blade, Golden Eye of Medusa, and they are released crazily. The flock of birds following Lin Yu were either cut into pieces, sliced apart, or even petrified, falling from the sky. After a few laps, there were very few mutated strange birds following Lin Yu, and the few remaining ones wailed and flew away. Lin Yu retracted the wings of the sky, and fell into the jungle below. Many strange bird corpses fell here. Lin Yu took out a dagger, stabbed the heads of those strange birds, and dug out some crystals from them. It seems that the mutated beasts in this secret realm also have crystals. If so, it will be easy to handle. Lin Yu wants the crystals of these mutated monster birds. In order to save time, Lin Yu chose some strange birds that were easy to dig crystals, quickly harvested a batch of crystals, and then flew into the sky. What surprised Lin Yu was that every mutant bird he killed just now had crystals, which is a special treatment outside the secret realm. 
After clearing the battlefield and getting 70 or 80 crystals, Lin Yu continued to move forward. With the wings of the sky, Lin Yu's speed is still fast, flying across the air, and finally flew in front of a big mountain. This mountain is hundreds of meters high, and it has no special features in itself, but the position above the mountain is terrifyingly flat, as if it has been swept by a sharp sword. The mountain of stone was cut open. There was actually a dilapidated stone house above it, which attracted Lin Yu's attention. The wings of the sky trembled, and Lin Yu landed in front of the stone house. Before he had time to go in, he heard a crackling sound, looked intently, and saw a skeleton standing up under a big tree outside the stone house. There is also a long sword in his hand, which looks majestic and powerful. Lin Yu glanced at the skeleton, and the attributes of the latter appeared in his mind. Altar Guardian, Tier 2 Guard, Physique, 598. Power, 586 Agility, 512 Spirit, 575. Skills, Berserk Strike, Netherfire, it's approaching the third level, it's scary, Lin Yu exclaimed. I didn't expect to meet a small skeleton in this secret territory, which is a monster close to the third level. It's okay to meet. If it's an ordinary evolutionary, I'm afraid I won't even have a chance to escape. This skeleton is called the Guardian of the Altar, so the stone house behind it should be the altar. Although he didn't know what was there, Lin Yu naturally couldn't let it go when he ran into it. With a big wave of his hand, the S class bright silver gun appeared in his hand. As soon as he sprinted away, Lin Yu's speed soared, and he ran towards the skeleton. This skeleton has high physique, high strength, and high spirit, but its agility is too low. It happened to create the conditions for Lin Yu. Lin Yu started sprinting, his speed was almost three times that of the skeleton guard, and he dodged and landed behind the skeleton guard. Chang Hong in the setting sun, the power of the edge, plus Lei's continuous move. The skeleton guard was instantly sent flying, several ribs in his abdomen were broken, and the bones hit by the thunder turned into charred black. It let out a silent roar, and the blue flame in its head exploded, split out suddenly, and flew towards Lin Yu. This is its skill Netherfire, once hit, it will cause heavy damage to the soul. But Lin Yu, is it that easy to be hit? Obviously not, the wings of the sky shook, and his body jumped up high. Lin Yu's eyes were fixed, it's over. After saying that, his figure fell down suddenly, and the bright silver gun in his hand sank vigorously and landed on the skull guard's head with a bang. And then. And then nothing. Suffering such a heavy blow, the skeleton guard shattered into broken bones, and the dark blue flame in his head floated in the air. Lin Yu took it and glanced at it. Netherfire. The power source of the skeleton guard, which can be used to enhance some four-dimensional attributes and increase a lot of spiritual power. Using this thing can greatly enhance mental power, good thing, Lin Yu smiled and threw the netherfire into the portable space, planning to swallow this thing sometime. As for now, it is natural to take a good look at the altar guarded by the skeleton guards. Before Lin Yu could take a few steps, there was another clicking sound from both sides. Lin Yu looked at it and was speechless. I saw a total of three skeleton guards walking towards this side on my left, right, and front. The style is exactly the same as the previous one, and the strength is also comparable. Damn, it's a waste of time. Lin Yu cursed secretly. With a quick figure, he stepped forward quickly, and before the three skeletons came together, the light speed eliminated one, and then the remaining two. A minute later, there were three piles of bone fragments on the ground. Lin Yu picked up the three skeleton fires and threw them into the portable space. He looked at the sword in the hand of the skeleton guard again. It turned out to be a D level weapon, yes, take it together and then make it for Chin Linger's little girl, maybe it can be used as a material to strengthen other weapons or something. After finishing these, Lin Yu walked towards the altar. Well now, no more skeletons to bother him. After entering the stone house, Lin Yu realized that this place is actually a platform with walls on all sides. The four statues are located at the four corners of the altar, with different looks. In the center of the altar, there was a big treasure chest, and Lin Yu stepped forward to open it. Immediately, pieces of props spewed out of the treasure chest like a fountain and fell to the ground. Lin Yu picked them up one by one. Obtain a second order spiritual fruit. 
Obtain Beast Elixir 1. Obtain the C level weapon Black Iron Sword 1. Get B level weapon Heart 1. W. To Lin Yu's surprise, the treasure chest exploded, and there were a lot of things out of it. But most of them are low level weapons and equipment, which Lin Yu can't use at all. But if he doesn't need it, it doesn't mean that other people can't use it. Without further ado, just throw all these things into the portable space. After searching for four weeks, there was nothing to worry about, so Lin Yu left the stone house. I went around outside again, and finally found some glowing grass on the edge of the cliff on the flat ground. Immortal grass. It can be used as medicine and can be made into food. Lin Yu vaguely remembered that in the previous magic recipes, the fairy grass seemed to be used to make some food, but now that it is here, naturally he cannot let it go. Pulling out these few grasses and throwing them into the portable space, Lin Yu jumped down from the cliff, opened the wings of the sky in midair and continued to rush towards a certain direction. Flying in one direction for about five minutes, Lin Yu was attracted by the movement from the jungle below. Lowering the height, looking towards the place where the movement came out, he couldn't help but widen his eyes. I saw that in the jungle, there were two giant beasts fighting. One is more than 10 meters long and silver white in color, it is a giant wolf. There is another one, covered in mottled colors, with two sharp fangs in its mouth, it turned out to be a tiger. The fight between the two giant beasts was earth shattering, many trees as thick as buckets were overwhelmed by them. Lin Yu took a glance, and the attributes of the two giant beasts appeared in his mind. Silver Wolf King, Tier 3 Mutant Beast, Physique, 623. Power. 612 Agility, 601 Spirit, 612. Skills. Howling Moon, Fatal Bite, Beast Blood Boiling. Colorful Tiger, Tier 2 Mutant Beast, Physique, 593. Strat. 599 Agility, 584 Spirit, 589. Skills. Claw Strike, Sonic Power Unexpectedly, that Tiger is only a second order mutant beast but it can also challenge the third order mutant silver wolf. It has to be said that its courage is commendable. Lin Yu watched the sky for a while, and found the reason for the fight between the two giant beasts. Beside a spring tens of meters away from the battlefield, there grew a small tree, no taller than a person, covered with small red fruits. Linguo, no wonder there is a fight. Lin Yu's eyes twitched. This thing is a good thing. It directly increases the attributes, and the two giant beasts are fighting, probably for this reason. But now that he, Lin Yu, has seen it, so don't argue, the spiritual fruit belongs to Lin Yu, and even the crystals in the heads of you two also belong to Lin Yu. After waiting on the spot for a few minutes, the Banyan Tiger of the second rank was the first to lose, and was bitten by the throat by the Silver Wolf. Seeing that he was about to win, the Leak King Lin Yu appeared. Wing Slash was released in midair, causing many wounds on Silver Wolf's body, followed by Thunder Fury, Chang Hong Sunset, skills released one after another. The Silver Wolf, who was already at the limit, burped without even resisting. The body fell down. Lin Yu held the bright silver gun and flew towards the colorful tiger that was still alive. Finally pierced through the guy's forehead. After the two giant beasts died and the crystals were dug out, Lin Yu walked towards the spring again. In the end, I harvested a full 22nd order spirit fruits, which is a good harvest. After finishing these, Lin Yu flapped the wings of the sky and left again. Now, half an hour has passed since Lin Yu entered the secret realm. The evolutionists of Qinghai Base City waiting outside the secret realm are going crazy. There was also hesitation in Yang Fang's eyes. He now seriously doubts whether this secret realm in front of him is only open to Lin Yu alone. Why the hell can he go in, but others can only touch the air wall? If that's the case, then it's better to return to Qinghai Base City now and take action to wipe out those partners that Lin Yu left behind in the Yi family. After Lin Yu comes out, beat Lin Yu to death and get those treasures from him. Just as I was thinking, suddenly I don't know who shouted, Everyone, look! there is movement in this secret realm. The evolutionaries who stayed outside the secret realm all looked in the direction of the secret realm. Sure enough, the entrance to the secret realm began to slowly rotate, exhaling and inhaling. Yang Fang's eyes lit up. Hurry up, 
Get on the boat, let's enter the secret realm. The rest of Uyang's family still hesitated. After all, most of the evolutionaries who tried last time fell into the sea and were eaten by mutant beasts. This time, regardless of the outcome, they dare not try lightly. But Wu Yang Feng was very confident. He felt that this must be a reaction monster that would only appear after the secret realm was open. There were not a few people who were brave enough. Not long after Wu Yang Feng's words fell, some three evolutionaries sitting in a small boat ahead successfully approached the secret realm, and then got in. Immediately, the evolutionaries outside the secret realm were excited, each showing their abilities, and rushing towards the discovery of the secret realm. Wu Yang Feng jumped on the boat, rushed towards the crowd, faced those who blocked his way, and even beheaded them directly, with ruthless means. Finally, Wu Yang Feng brought everyone from the Wu Yang family to the sea outside the secret realm, and with a leap, he passed through the secret realm and came to another world. Behind him, people continued to emerge. It is worth mentioning that the people who entered the secret realm did not appear in the same place. For example, the Wu Yang family, Wu Yang Feng, Wu Yang Shu, Wu Yang Feiyu, Wu Yang Yuanqing, and some weaker Wu Yang family entered the secret realm. But now only Wu Yang Yuanqing and Wu Yang Shu appeared behind Wu Yang Feng, and the rest of them disappeared. Patriarch, because the young master and others didn't follow. Wu Yang Shu cupped his hands and reported. Wu Yang Feng shook his head. Forget it, let's act first, find the treasures here as much as possible, and find Yuer and the others by the way. Wu Yang Shu and Wu Yang Yuanqing nodded, and the three quickly walked towards the jungle. At the same time, more than a dozen undisciplined evolutionaries came here, and they also dragged their partners and walked in different directions. A treasure hunting battle in a secret realm has already begun. The opening time of this round of the secret realm lasted less than three minutes. After three minutes, the entrance to the secret realm was closed again. The evolutionists who failed to enter could only stay where they were, and there were many scolders among them. He risked his life to come here, watched Lin Yu enter the secret realm, and waited for half an hour without saying anything, but he still couldn't get in. This secret realm is really poisonous. On the other side, the evolutionists who were lucky enough to enter the secret realm began to be amazed by everything here. Someone found a spiritual fruit growing in the jungle, took a bite, and found that his strength had become stronger, and he was overjoyed. Someone found the ruins in the secret territory, opened the treasure chest, and obtained a large number of treasures and equipment in the treasure chest. There were also people who were unlucky, broke into the pile of monsters as soon as they came in and were torn into pieces by the monsters, and died there. What the chosen one of the previous generation said was indeed correct. For something like a secret realm, opportunities and dangers coexist. In a certain valley, several figures were fleeing in a hurry. The leader is Yang Feiyu. He was holding a sharp sword, his white clothes were already stained with a lot of blood, and several Yang family members followed behind him. Damn! What kind of garbage secret realm is this? Wu Yang Feiyu cursed. He belongs to the unlucky category. As soon as he came in, well, before he could show his grand plans, a mid level second level monster suddenly appeared, and he took a few unattended evolutionists into a single palm. Bolognese. Then, facing the fierce bite of their Wu Yang family, Wu Yang Feiyu was confident and raised his sword to fight. Then he became a fool, his chest was scratched, blood was dripping, and the pain was unbearable. Without saying a word, he gave up fighting in an instant and fled quickly. As a result, the second order monster chased them fiercely for ten minutes, which made Wu Yang Feiyu quite annoyed. Master, there seems to be a house over there. A member of the Wu Yang family who was running pointed in a certain direction ahead. Wu Yang Feiyu took a closer look, and indeed, in the shade of the trees, he could really see some traces of ruins. Wu Yang Feiyu's eyes lit up. Go go and have a look. The monster behind him was chasing after him, and if he didn't think of a way to get it done, he was afraid that it would be cold, so Wu Yang Feiyu made a decisive decision and prepared to go to that place to have a look. It would be best to find some powerful weapons to take down the giant bear behind him. With a goal in mind, the group ran even more vigorously. At the same time, Lin Yu was fighting in a ruins, and at the moment he was facing four or five second-tier monsters. 
Behind Lin Yu lay dozens of second order mutant beasts that had been killed. This site is unusually large, and it seems that it used to be a large building, but now, after years of erosion, it has become ruins. Even so, Lin Yu still found a lot of good things here. For example, some discarded weapons, armor, etc., were thrown into the portable space by him. Another example is some spiritual fruit manors planted somewhere in the ruins. There are not only spiritual fruits, but also many spiritual grasses, materials, etc., which are countless. The only regret is that in order to take these things away, the nearby monsters must be dealt with. Fortunately, Lin Yu's strength is not weak, and his means are even stronger. With a swish, a large number of monsters fell to the ground. While fighting, suddenly the sound of people talking came from outside the ruins. Master, someone has already been here. It doesn't matter, go in and have a look first, and find a way to get rid of the monster behind you. Lin Yu frowned, and someone said, could it be that the secret realm has been opened? Other evolutionaries gathered outside the entrance of the secret realm came in. It's coming, it's coming. Why does Lin Yu feel that one of the figures he heard just now is somewhat similar to Yang Fei Yu? Is this guy here? Before Lin Yu could figure it out, footsteps came from behind him. Looking back, his eyes met Yang Fei Yu who had barged in. Lin Yu was a little surprised, with a sinister smile on his lips. As for Yang Fei Yu, he almost hit the wall. What the hell is this? How could it be Lin Yu? Why is this guy here? Yo. Long time no see, Master Wu Yang, looking at you, you seem to be in a mess. Lin Yu glanced at the bloodstains on Wu Yang Fei Yu's chest and joked. Wu Yang Fei Yu was so angry that he pointed at Lin Yu and yelled, Your surname is Lin, don't make sarcastic remarks, you will die soon. Lin Yu shrugged. You have said this sentence more than once, but the problem is, I am still standing here. Wu Yang Fei Yu, Seeing the giant bear behind him getting closer and closer, Wu Yang Fei Yu felt anxious, gritted his teeth, and rushed towards Lin Yu quickly. Your surname Lin, go to hell. He rushed while talking, but after the lesson from last time, he didn't dare to look Lin Yu in the eyes at all, and rushed forward with his head tilted, his appearance was quite funny. Master. Master. Several Wu Yang family members who followed shouted, wanting to stop Wu Yang Fei Yu's actions. But it was already too late, the giant bear had already been taken by Wu Yang Fei Yu towards Lin Yu. Wu Yang Fei Yu decided to use a trick to pull the monster, and pulled the giant bear to Lin Yu's side, and with the help of the giant bear, he took care of Lin Yu. But Lin Yu, will it be so easy to kill? Naturally impossible. Seeing Wu Yang Fei Yu rushing towards him, the smile on Lin Yu's lips subsided, looking for death. Said, the wings of the sky trembled stepped over Wu Yang Fei Yu, and jumped over the head of the giant bear. The bright silver gun was wrapped in a burst of scarlet light, and stabbed down with a whistling sound, piercing through the giant bear's head in an instant. At the end of the battle, the giant bear fell to the ground maintaining the momentum of the forward charge. Wu Yang Fei Yu noticed this scene, his eyes almost popped out, what a ghost. The giant bear I brought just belched like this? But no matter what, the way Lin Yu shot through the skull of the giant bear is really handsome, bah, very powerful. Even the second tier giant bear is no match for Lin Yu, so what can I do? Thinking of this, Wu Yang Fei Yu's back felt chills, he turned around, and ran towards the outside of the ruins, no matter what, run first as a respect, dog's life matters. Not long after he ran out, Lin Yu's voice reached his ears lightly. It's all here, why are you leaving in such a hurry? Wu Yang Fei Yu's face froze, and he was not ready to talk to Lin Yu. The wind was blowing under his feet, and his speed was even faster. But how can his running speed compare to Lin Yu Fei's? With a movement of the figure in front of him, Lin Yu had already landed in front of him. Wu Yang Fei Yu didn't break in time and almost missed Lin Yu. Stopping, couldn't help but take a few steps back, not daring to look into Lin Yu's eyes. What do you want? Several other Wu Yang family members also stood behind Wu Yang Fei Yu, confronting Lin Yu. Don't you want to kill me? Lin Yu asked back. Wu Yang Fei Yu was speechless for a while, he wanted to kill Lin Yu, he dreamed about it all the time, but he didn't kill this guy himself. Do you think I'll leave someone who wants to kill me alive? 
Lin Yu asked again. Uyang Feiyu's heart skipped a beat, he was about to cry, brother, what on earth do you want? With such a godlike effort, this guy has already raised his head and met Lin Yu's eyes. The next moment, Lin Yu's pupils suddenly turned into vertical pupils. The golden eye of Medusa activates. The next moment, Uyang Feiyu was stiff and unable to move, which was a familiar feeling. After a few seconds, his entire body has turned into stone. Several Uyang family members standing behind Uyang Feiyu were terrified and wanted to escape, but they couldn't escape Lin Yu's murderous hands. A few wind blades flashed by, and a line of blood appeared on the necks of the three of them, and they fell to the ground lifeless. After finishing all this, before Lin Yu could rest, there was suddenly the sound of dull and dense footsteps in front of him. Taking a closer look, it was the skeleton soldiers who hadn't been dealt with just now, dragging their broken bodies, walking towards this side in an orderly pace. Lin Yu drew back and backed up. While releasing Thunder Fury to bombard the skeleton army, he stabbed with a gun. The petrified Uyang Feiyu was surrounded by an army of skeletons. Although he was petrified, he could not attract monsters, but facing such a stone blocking the way, the army of skeletons would not treat him kindly. With a bang, Uyang Feiyu was pushed to the ground, and his petrified body was broken into several pieces. Then it was trampled by the skeleton army and turned into rubble. The only head that survived rolled down to the corner of the wall like a ball and stopped. Lin Yu didn't care about these and continued to fight. Time passed by every minute and every second, about ten minutes later. The skeleton army here was killed in sevens and eights, and Lin Yu started to hunt for treasure. At the same time, this site also attracted more other evolutionists. One after another poured in from all over the ruins, robbing the treasures that existed here. Fighting broke out and many people were killed while fighting. The smell of blood attracted more monsters, and one after another melee broke out. Lin Yu didn't care about these things, and traveled at a high speed, passing through the legacy. Only after he actually entered did he realize that this place is very big, he opened several treasure chests along the way and got a lot of props. Continue along the broken corridor. According to the practice of the ruins, Lin Yu knew that the more precious something, the deeper it must be hidden. Keep going, keep going. Even in order to save time and prevent others from getting there first, Lin Yu gave up fighting some mutated monsters, and directly opened the wings of the sky to fly over the heads of these monsters. Finally, Lin Yu came to the center of the ruins. This is a main hall, which is fairly well preserved. At the top of the main hall, there is a throne, and a treasure chest is placed on the throne, which is shining, and the quality is better than the one opened before. According to the previous experience, Lin Yu knew that there must be monsters guarding the treasure chest here. Holding the bright silver gun tightly, he stepped forward slowly. Just after taking a few steps, as expected, the floor tiles in front suddenly collapsed. Several black shadows jumped out of the black hole under the floor tiles. Taking a closer look, Lin Yu frowned. The three black shadows appearing now are wearing the armor of an ancient general, but inside the armor is a skeleton, and the faint blue skeleton fire is jumping in the skull under the helmet. One holds a knife, one holds a sword, and the other holds a bronze shield taller than Lin Yu. Skeleton Warrior, Third Order Underworld Creature. Constitution. 650 Power. 652 Agility, 610. Spirit. 635 Skill. The attributes of the three skeleton warlords are almost the same, they are all tier 3 monsters, and their attributes as high as more than 600 are a bit staggering. But Lin Yu was looking at the treasure chest on the throne, not to mention only three monsters, even if there were six or ten monsters, they couldn't stop him. With a loud shout, he fought fiercely with the three skeletons. The power of the edge, the setting sun rainbow, the wing cut, the elemental control thunder fury, the skill levels are endless, and the sun is weakening the battle history of the sun skull. At the same time, Lin Yu came in outside the ruins. Dozens of figures rushed towards them, and the leader was Uyang Feng. Just now they searched a small altar and tasted the taste of opening a treasure chest. After going around for half a circle, I finally found this place the large ruins located in the center of the secret realm. Dad, this place is so big, there must be many treasure chests, let's go in and have a look. Uyang Yuanqing shouted, 
waving a sword in his hand. This sword is a B-level weapon, which was just opened from the previous treasure chest. As a rare sword master in the Uyang family, this sword was assigned to him immediately. Uyang Feng looked at the ruins that had been mostly destroyed and the sounds of battles were constantly coming out, without saying a word, he waved his hands and led the people forward. There are already many people patronizing this place, if you don't hurry in, you might not even be able to drink the soup. After Uyang Feng gave an order, the crowd moved forward quickly. After killing a wave of skeleton monsters, they came to the ruins manor, where they robbed the undisciplined evolutionists, and took away a lot of spiritual fruits. As a descendant of the chosen son of the previous generation, the treasure left by Patriarch Uyang is a ring, which has a space of 20 meters in length, width and height. This thing was worn on Uyang Feng's thumb, and it was an extremely precious family heirloom. Uyang Feng threw many things obtained in this secret realm into the storage ring, and planned to distribute them after leaving the secret realm. After picking the spirit fruit, Uyang Feng made a decisive decision and led the people to walk deeper into the ruins. It is recorded in ancient books that the more precious treasures are usually hidden in the deepest part. Follow me. Let's go to the deepest part to see. The deepest part of the ruins naturally also symbolizes danger, but Uyang Feng was promoted to a third level evolutionary two days ago, and he is confident that he can play the entire secret realm. On the other side, a group of the Wu family led by Wu Hongyi also arrived at this huge ruins. After plundering a lot of treasures in the periphery, Wu Hongyi and others began to move towards the center of the ruins. Killed many monsters along the way, and walked in along the corridor. Weapons, spiritual fruits, strengthening stones, materials and so on, all failed to escape their palms. The overall strength of the Uyang family and the Wu family that entered the secret realm is higher than other scattered human evolutionists and small families. Moreover, because they have seen the existence of ancient books, they are very clear that the closer to the center of this kind of ruins refreshed in the secret territory, the more precious the treasures can be found. Therefore, after entering the ruins and searching a small area, Wu Hongyi and others resolutely decided to launch the towards the center of the ruins. The closer to the center of the site, the fewer evolutionaries appearing. It's not because other evolutionists didn't expect to come here, but because other evolutionists simply don't have the strength to come here. The closer you get to the center of the ruins, the more powerful and numerous monsters you encounter. If you don't have enough strength or enough companions, you won't be able to walk to the center of the ruins at all. Of course, Lin Yu is an exception. All the monsters here have been killed. Wu Yang Shu pointed to the corridor in front of him. In the narrow corridor, there were countless monsters lying there. Wu Yang Feng frowned and waved his hand. It doesn't matter. Let's go in from here and try to reach the very center of this site as soon as possible. Wu Yang Shu and the others nodded and continued to move forward. Wu Yang Yuanqing, who was following behind, swept his eyes around the ground of the corridor, hoping to find some useful things that he hadn't had time to take away. Suddenly, a round object at the corner of the corridor attracted his attention. With a happy expression on his face, Wu Yang Yuanqing rushed over, hugged the chubby thing in his arms, and only glanced at it. Wu Yang Yuanqing's face became bloodless. With a scream, he threw the ball in his hand. Wu Yang Feng, who was walking at the front, turned his head and looked directly at Wu Yang Yun. What are you making such a fuss about? Wu Yang Yuanqing pointed at the round ball that had rolled far away and said, Big, big brother, that's big brother's head. As soon as these words came out, the expressions of Wu Yang Feng and the others changed drastically. Wu Yang Yuanqing has only one elder brother, that is Wu Yang Feiyu. Could this round ball be Wu Yang Feiyu's head? Nonsense. Wu Yang Feng scolded angrily. Wu Yang Feiyu entered this secret realm together with them, but until now, the two sides have not yet joined. How could his head appear here? Wu Yang Shu felt that something was wrong, ran over to pick up the stone ball, took a look at it, and stayed where it was for a while. Wu Yang Feng led other people to surround him and looked intently at the stone ball in Wu Yang Shu's arms. Suddenly, Wu Yang Feng's head buzzed, and he became a little at a loss. The stone ball that Wu Yang Shu is holding now is indeed a head, and the appearance of the head is almost exactly the same as that of Wu Yang Feiyu. Dad, it must be the one surnamed Lin, it must be him, he is the one who petrified elder brother, and then smashed his body into pieces. 
Uyang Yuanqing shouted, his pupils turning red. Uyang Feng was speechless, although he was very reluctant to admit it, but it was very likely to be the truth. Patriarch, come and have a look. While hesitating, the voice of an Uyang family member sounded. Uyang Feng and the others ran over immediately, only to see three corpses lying under the pile of skeleton monster corpses. These three people are obviously members of the Uyang family. Seeing this, even if Uyang Feng had some doubts, he had already concluded what had happened. Uyang Feiyu came here with these members of the Uyang family, unfortunately met Lin Yu. Lin Yu shot, killed several members of the Uyang family, and petrified Uyang Feiyu. It even smashed the petrified Uyang Feiyu into rubble that could not be recovered. Uyang Feng's guess was almost inseparable. The only thing he guessed wrong was that Lin Yu didn't smash Uyang Feiyu's petrified body himself. It was actually those monsters who smashed his petrified body. But now, Uyang Feng, who was in a state of rage, didn't care about these anymore. He concluded that Lin Yu was the murderer who killed Uyang Feiyu. Lin Yu, I want you to die. Uyang Feng roared, hitting the stone slab in front of him with his fist. The force fell, and the stone slab shattered into several pieces with a bang. All the members of the Uyang family who were nearby became angry and their eyes were red. Go. Search along this road, we must find that guy and tear him into pieces. Uyang Feng said ferociously, and ran towards the end of the corridor. A dozen or so members of the Uyang family followed behind, heading towards where Lin Shi might be. And Lin Yu, at this moment, has killed the three skeletons guarding the throne in the center of the ruins. It has to be said that the combination of three-headed tier three monsters put some pressure on Lin Yu. Fortunately, the battle was over after a few minutes. After clapping his hands, Lin Yu stepped towards the throne. At the moment when he stepped on the steps and was about to open the treasure chest, Lin Yu's face suddenly changed, and his figure suddenly moved away. Boom! Where Lin Yu was standing just now, a big hole was blasted out. Looking back, I could only see a skeleton holding a staff in the direction I came from. This skeleton is different from other skeletons, this guy's skeleton is actually golden, it looks like it is made of pure gold, and it is very shining. With a glance, the attributes of the golden skull appeared in Lin Yu's mind. Golden Skeleton King, the Fifth Order Underworld Creature. Physique. 1230 Strat, 1211 Agility, 1203. Spirit. 1225 Skills, Nether Burst, Soul Tour, Soul Burning, Bone Armor. Level 5, Damn It. When Lin Yu saw the attributes of the Golden Skeleton King, Lin Yu almost popped his eyes out. What the hell? This guy turned out to be a fifth order monster. The four dimensional attributes all exceed 1200. He ho ho. The golden skeleton king opened his mouth and uttered a tone, the voice line was hoarse, making one's scalp tingle. Lin Yu glanced at his own attributes. Except for the strength attribute, the other three attributes are not as good as the golden skull, but they are similar. If so, why not fight? Give it a go, a bicycle turns into a motorcycle. Lin Yu murmured, clenching the bright silver gun in his hand. The Golden Skeleton King didn't give Lin Yu too many opportunities to think about it. He raised the staff in his hand, and several dark blue flames flew towards Lin Yu at a very fast speed. It was obviously this skill that attacked Lin Yu just now. Lin Yu started sprinting, dodged quickly with a dodge, Thunder Fury activated, and several thunders exploded around the Golden Skeleton King. Thunder Fury who was able to deal with ordinary skeletons with ease, exploded beside the skeleton king, but only pushed him back a few steps, which is enough to show the horror of this guy's strength. But will Lin Yu give up? Obviously not, not for the treasure chest on the throne, even for the ghost fire on the head of the golden skeleton king, Lin Yu would never give up. The ghost fire of the fifth order monster, if you eat it, you don't know how much spiritual attribute it will add. Thinking of this, Lin Yu was full of energy, and the wings of the sky beat, pushing his body around the golden skull. Lin Yu's spiritual attributes are similar to those of the golden skull, and spell damage definitely cannot cause a devastating blow to this guy. And because of the existence of Zan Kun, Lin Yu's power is as high as 1800, which is much higher than the golden skull. Therefore, Lin Yu decided to use the bright silver gun to deal with the golden skull. 
As for the magic skills such as element control, they can only be used for auxiliary purposes. The power of the edge, superimposed, superimposed. The setting sun Chang Hong activated, Lin Yu leapt high, and the bright red silver gun turned into an afterimage and fell straight down on the body of the golden skeleton. But this guy, at some point, had summoned a set of armor made entirely of bones, wrapping his body tightly. The blow just now didn't kill it, but Lin Yu's strength was stronger than that of the golden skull, and the blow just now also managed to make the golden skull fall to the ground. Lin Yu drew back and jumped away, dashed again, and at the same time waved up several 28 thunderstorms, and threw them near the golden skull. Burn this guy's bone armor into charred black. Maybe it was Lin Yu's attack that made the golden skull angry. The guy let out a roar, waved his staff, and a group of invisible ripples spread out in all directions. When he touched Lin Yu, Lin Yu's whole body shook, and a sense of dizziness came over him, making him almost fall down. Before he could react, there was a strong wind in front of him, Lin Yu's face changed slightly, the wings of the sky slapped in the opposite direction, and his body quickly pulled away, dodging the staff pierced by the golden skull. There's something, Lin Yu murmured, his mind had regained his clarity. With a shake of its wings, it quickly approached the golden skull, and at the same time shouted, Look here. The golden skull seemed to be able to understand human speech, and actually looked towards Lin Yu. Finding the right opportunity, when the four eyes meet, Lin Yu's pupils suddenly become vertical pupils, and the golden eyes of Medusa are activated. The next moment, the faint blue flame in the skull of the golden skull fluctuated for a while, as if it was about to go out. Obviously, the golden eyes of Medusa have already had an effect on it. The corners of Lin Yu's lips curled slightly, looking for the right opportunity. The bright silver gun in his hand shot out like a dragon, piercing the golden skull's eye socket with a whoosh. Among them, as early as in the previous battle, Lin Yu knew that the weakness of these skeleton monsters was the faint blue flame in their skulls. Now that he hit the flame, the golden skull suffered pain, and frantically threw Lin Yu away. But that blow just now had already severely injured this guy. Lin Yu pulled out the bright silver gun and raised the gun to fight again. This time, he chose uninterrupted onslaught. The power of the edge is superimposed, the setting sun Chang Hong is activated, thunder fury is assisted, and wing slash attacks. Finally, the golden skull couldn't withstand Lin Yu's swift attack, its head was cut off and rolled aside. The golden skeleton's body lost its support, and instantly scattered into broken bones on the ground. Lin Yu exhaled, he had gone all out in the battle just now. The bright silver gun played a beautiful gunflower, and carried it behind him. Lin Yu walked to the place where the golden skull died, and picked up the guy's ghost fire. It is very rich, but it is cold at the beginning, like a beautiful lotus in the flourishing age. Throwing this thing into the portable space, Lin Yu picked up the staff of the golden skull again. A level staff ghost. Increase the user's ghost power by 30%. Every time someone kills, the soul of the deceased can be absorbed, stored in the staff, and used for staff advancement. This magic staff is amazing, it is an advanced equipment, but unfortunately, its passive is to increase the strength of the ghost power. Around Lin Yu, is there anyone who uses the power of the underworld? Putting this thing away, Lin Yu walked towards the treasure chest on the throne. Now, you should be able to enjoy the spoils safely. The treasure chest was opened, and several beams of light flew out of the treasure chest. Lin Yu had a quick eye, and immediately grabbed a ball of light, opened his palm to look, and found that it was a ring. Made of jade, the whole body is emerald green, and there is a circle of metal iron rings inlaid on the edge, which is very beautiful in shape. A level storage ring. It contains a cube space of 50 meters in length, width and height, which can store anything according to the user's wishes, except for living things, except for those whose volume exceeds the storage space. Seeing the profile of this thing, Lin Yu smiled, this is a good thing. The little girl Zhang Ru has been yelling that she also wants to have the ability to store in space like Lin Yu. If she wears this ring, wouldn't she have it? Several other light clusters were suspended in the mid-air of the main hall. Lin Yu flapped the wings of the sky, took them off one by one, and threw them into the portable space. A level weapon whirlwind. Assassin's exclusive weapon, small and sharp, 
can be thrown out to attack the enemy from a distance. Fourth Order Spiritual Seeds 5. After planting, Fourth Order Spiritual Fruits can be harvested. Flying Talisman 1 0. After use, the user can have the ability to float in the air for a short time. Just when Lin Yu was about to catch the last light ball, a loud shout came from the left passage of the main hall. Boy, go to hell. Lin Yu grabbed the light ball and threw it into the portable space before he could take a closer look. Then he fixed his eyes on the place where the sound came from. Only a dozen or so figures were seen running out of the corridor. The leader is none other than Wu Yang Feng. At this moment, he has a ferocious face, and his eyes are full of anger. Lin Yu has been here for a long time, and finally here, he saw the murderer who killed Wu Yang Feiyu. Lin Yu dodged Wu Yang Feng's attack and looked at the person coming. Bastard, you killed my son. Today, I will definitely tear your corpse into thousands of pieces. Wu Yang Feng angrily scolded. With a wave of their hands, more than a dozen members of the Wu Yang family scattered, surrounding Lin Yu. It seems that there is quite a posture of a war. Lin Yu frowned, and glanced at the attributes of Wu Yang Feng and the others. Name. Wu Yang Feng. Third Evolutionary, Physique, 651. Power. 649 Agility, 621 Spirit, 645. Skill. Name. Wu Yang Shu, Second Evolutionary. Physique. 526 Power, 538 Agility, 534. Spirit. 528 Skill. Name. Wu Yang Yuanqing, Second Evolutionary. Constitution. As expected, they are worthy of being the number one family in Qinghai City, and they are quite powerful. There are five second tier powerhouses here, and Wu Yang Feng has already advanced to third tier. A group of people surrounded Lin Yu, vowing to tear Lin Yu into pieces and avenge Wu Yang Feiyu. Just when Wu Yang's family was about to attack, another group of people suddenly broke into the corridor on the right side of the main hall. Looking over there, Lin Yu and Wu Yang Feng couldn't help but change their expressions slightly. What appeared at this moment was the Wu family team led by Wu Hong Yi. After many checkpoints, they also arrived at the last hall. The three people looked at each other in blank dismay. Dozens of pairs of eyes you look at me, I look at you, for a while, the air froze a bit. Wu Yang Feng reacted very quickly. He knew that Lin Yu's strength was not low. Seeing Wu Hong Yi at this moment, he shouted over there. The head of the Wu family came just in time. This kid surnamed Lin has a lot of trouble with my Wuyang family. A lot of treasures have been searched in this secret territory. Your Wu family and my Wuyang family joined forces, except for this kid. How about sharing the treasures equally? It has to be said that the conditions offered by Wuyang Feng were very good. Lin Yu was the first person to enter this secret realm, and he came here half an hour earlier than the others. According to his strength, he must have found a lot of treasures on him now, and he can be fat. If he is killed, not to mention taking away all the treasures, even if only half of them are enough to greatly increase the strength of the Wu family. So, will Wu Hong Yi agree to Yang Fang's request? Lin Yu glanced at Wu Hong Yi and the others. Unexpectedly, this guy has advanced to the third level, and his attributes are as follows. Name. Wu Hong Yi, third evolutionary, physique. 612. Power. 608 Agility, 609 Spirit, 601. Skill. This guy only advanced after entering this secret realm. After eating a lot of spiritual fruits, he managed to prop up his strength to the third level. Otherwise, whether or not their group can reach the center of the ruins is not a problem. At this moment, facing Wu Yang Feng's request, Wu Hong Yi thought quickly. Lin Yu was no match for strength and he had no grievances with Lin Yu. If he attacked him this time, it would be his enemy. It's okay to win, there will be no threat from Lin Yu in the future, but what if you lose? Wouldn't it be that you have made an extra powerful enemy for no reason? He has always been a cautious person, and Wu Hong Yi felt that it was not worth taking these risks for some treasures in Lin Yu's hands. Patriarch Wu Yang, I have no grievances or enmities with this Mr. Lin. This is a matter between your two families. I, the Wu family, don't get involved, Wu Hongyi said. Behind Li Yucheng, Wu Yinghao and others also expressed their agreement. Wu Yang Feng was so angry that he pointed at Wu Hongyi and yelled, 
Well, Wu Hongyi, you won't even do me a favor. I really misjudged you. Anyway, without your Wu family, my Wu Yang family can still solve this kid. Wu Hongyi shrugged and glanced at Lin Yu. The guy was so calm and relaxed that he didn't see any reaction. I wish you good luck. Wu Hongyi murmured, and with a wave of his hand, he led the people behind him back into the tunnel. Wu family left? Are they really that easy to leave? No, no, under the apocalypse, don't underestimate anyone's ambition. Patriarch, should we just leave like this? Li Yucheng asked from behind as he was walking. Wu Hongyi, who was walking in front of him, paused, and turned around, with a wicked smile on his lips. Leave? Why did you leave? Have you never heard of the fight between Snipe and Clam for the fisherman's gain? Wouldn't it be better if we showed up again? Wu Yinghao and others were a little bit tongue-tied when they heard this. This Wu Hongyi, his feelings are based on this calculation. Brother, do you really think that the kid from the Yi family named Lin can shake the Yang family? Wu Yinghao asked. Wu Hongyi exhaled. I don't know if I can shake him or not. I only know that the kid's strength is definitely not weak. If he has no skills, he can come here without any injuries. And when he confronted Wu Yang Feng just now, he there is no change in his face, and he must have had a countermeasure long ago. As soon as these words came out, the surrounding Wu family members were even more shocked. Wu Hongyi's analysis is indeed correct. Lin Yu's strength may really not be weak. How can the weak enter the secret realm first? How can the weak pass through the checkpoints and come to the center of this secret realm? The weak. How can you not change your face when facing a whole family? There is only one answer. Lin Yu is not weak. In the center of the ruins, seeing that the Wu family had left, Wu Yang Feng felt relieved. Wu Hong Yi is not a good person. What if he shoots himself while he is fighting with Lin Yu? Wouldn't it be embarrassing? So, it's best they go now. I can also kill Lin Yu with peace of mind and enjoy all the treasures that Lin Yu got in this secret realm exclusively. Boy, before you die, do you have anything else to say? Wu Yang Feng said coldly. The flames in his eyes were already intense to the extreme. Lin Yu shrugged. There's nothing to say, because I can't possibly die. Wu Yang Feng was furious when he heard the words, Arrogance is extremely extreme, one piece. This kid's corpse will be smashed into thousands of pieces. With an order, Wu Yang's family, who had been preparing for a long time, raised their weapons and rushed towards Lin Yu. And Lin Yu, without changing his expression, clenched the silver spear in his hand, spread out the wings of the sky, and leapt onto the Yang family's superiors. The battle officially begins. Wing slash activated, and dozens of virtual flying feathers shot out from Lin Yu's side. The Yang family below had no time to dodge, and their bodies were pierced in an instant. In the first round, the three Yang family members belched. Yang Feng was furious, and roared at Lin Yu. A circle of sound waves hit Lin Yu. Lin Yu snorted softly, pointed at the tip of the gun, and the sharp edge whizzed past. Wu Yang Feng only felt a chill in his back and backed away again and again. But Lin Yu, as if he was playing, paused and turned to meet the attacking Wu Yang Shu. Wu Yang Shu is the second strongest member of the Wu Yang family, with a four dimensional attribute as high as more than 500, but in front of Lin Yu, he is the difference between an ant and an elephant. Several thunderstorms suddenly appeared and landed beside Wu Yang Shu. This violent fire mage didn't even have time to summon his best fireball technique, his body was already hit by the thunderstorm and became paralyzed and numb. An electric arc danced on his body, which lasted for less than a second, and Wu Yang Shu fell to the ground. Even the several Wu Yang family members who followed Wu Yang Shu were not spared. In the second round, Wu Yang Shu and three members of Wu Yang's family hiccuped. Now, only Wu Yang Feng, Wu Yang Yuanqing, and the remaining five members of the Wu Yang family were left in the field. And the whole battle only lasted less than two minutes. Wu Yang Feng felt like crying. What kind of freak is this Lin Yu, with such strength? Suddenly, Wu Yang Feng thought of retreating. But in many cases, the battle is not over if you want it to end. Patriarch Wu Yang, continue. Lin Yu was suspended in midair, sneering at Dagyu. Wu Yang Feng swallowed, and glanced at Wu Yang Yuanqing who was pale, trembling and speechless. He took out a yellow talisman, 
squeezed it into a ball and swallowed it in his mouth, and then said silently in his heart, Ching'er, I'll hold that surnamed Lin later, you leave here quickly, return to Qinghai City, take your mother, and the rest of you with you. Let the Yang family leave the base city of Qinghai, we must hurry, this time, we are the losers. The yellow talisman that Yang Feng swallowed was called the sound transmission talisman. After eating it, if he silently recites what he wants to say to someone, that person can hear it. At this moment, when Yang Yuanqing heard Yang Feng's words, his eyes widened. What do you mean? The battle failed. Yang Feng wanted to stay and hold Lin Yu back, and let him leave. Yang Yuanqing wanted to say something, but seeing Yang Feng's expression of resignation to death, he was shaken. He is still young, he doesn't want to die, he has to escape, he has to guarantee the blood of his Uyang family, isn't it just leaving the secret realm and taking the Uyang family out of Qinghai City, he can do it himself. For the righteousness of the family, Uyang Yuan decided to do this. Die! Uyang Feng yelled, holding the big knife in his hand, and rushed towards Lin Yu. Lin Yu swept his silver gun across, and lightly made Uyang Feng fly backwards. The rest of the Uyang family members stepped forward one after another, trying to cause harm to Lin Yu, but it was all in vain. The current Lin Yu has a four-dimensional attribute of more than 1,000, and a strength attribute of nearly 2,000. How could these people be able to shake him? In three or two hits, everyone was knocked out. Of course, except Uyang Yuanqing. This guy saw the right opportunity, plunged into the corridor, and fled quickly. Lin Yu frowned. Escape? Can you escape? As soon as the words fell, he raised his gun and prepared to pursue. Stop him! Yang Feng yelled, and blood foam mixed with saliva kept coming out of his mouth. The rest of the Yang family members who were still able to move got up one after another and headed towards the forest. Looking for death. Lin Yu snorted coldly, and the gun came out like a dragon, and Yang Feng and others who were blocking him were pierced by the gun light, and then fell to the ground. At the end of the battle, all Yang's family hiccuped except one Yang Yuanqing. But, can this guy run? Yang Feng was not dead yet, his eye sockets were about to burst, and he felt like he was dying. He didn't understand until the end of his life why Lin Yu was easily defeated by the other party with so many people. But how did Yang Feng know that Lin Yu's third level is different from their third level? Lin Yu is an extraordinary person, after the third level, the total attributes must exceed 1000, while Yang Feng and others are evolutionaries, their third level, but the total attributes are more than 600. 1000 to 600, is there any comparison? Not at all. So, let alone one Yang Feng fighting Lin Yu, even if there were five, it might not be possible to defeat Lin Yu. Lin Yu squatted down and took off the ring from Yang Fang's hand. Lin Yu also confiscated the weapons of the other Yang family members and threw them into the portable space. After doing this, Lin Yu got up, started sprinting, and ran towards the corridor that Yang Yuanqing had entered. The whole site is like a maze with many forks. At a certain fork near the center of the ruins, Wu Hong Yi and others sat on a stone, waiting for the battle between Lin Yu and Yang's family to end. Then they came to ten strokes of praying mantis, catching cicada and oriole. Suddenly, the sound of footsteps came from the corridor ahead, attracting the attention of several people. There are footsteps, Li Yucheng exclaimed softly. The rest of the people got up quickly and looked in the direction of the sound. Not long after, a figure sprang out from it, it was Uyang Yuanqing, he was in a mess at the moment, his body was stained with the blood of many members of the Uyang family his already pale face was bloodless. If he hadn't been thinking silently in his heart that he must get out alive, he might have lost his legs and couldn't run on the way. But even so, the demon has been following behind him. Running out of this corridor, Uyang Yuanqing saw Wu Hongyi and the others at a glance, and a light flashed in his eyes that were on the verge of despair. Master Wu! Help me! Wu Hongyi and the others looked confused. What the hell? Help you! Why did you save you? Where is your father? Where are the other members of the Yang family? Before Wu Hong Yi could figure it out, someone appeared behind Wu Yang Yuanqing, Lin Yu. With a wave of his big hand, a wind blade flashed past, and Wu Yang Yuan, who was running wildly in front, grabbed his neck. 
The body ran a few steps forward due to inertia, and then fell to the ground. A line of blood had already appeared on his neck, and he was dead. The appearance of Lin Yu surprised Wu Hong Yi and others. Wu Yang Yuanqing is dead, killed by Lin Yu, and the two of them appeared here again. Could it be that the battle inside is over? But it's been less than five minutes since I and the others left the Dao now. Is the battle already over? What the hell? Lin Yu was also a little surprised when he saw Wu Hong Yi and others, so he folded his wings and fell from midair. Master Wu, you haven't left yet. Wu Hong Yi's forehead was sweating, and he took a few steps back. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go. Lin Yu shrugged. All right then, you can do whatever you want. I'll go first. After finishing speaking, Lin Yu stepped into another corridor. Wu Hong Yi and the others wiped the fine sweat from their foreheads. He. Dot why did he come out early? Li Yucheng asked. Wu Hong Yi swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Go back and have a look. After all, he led the people towards the main hall in the center of the ruins. A few minutes later, they saw a picture that horrified them. The Yu Yang family who besieged Lin Yu just now are all dead. The corpse was lying on the ground, and the scene was extremely tragic. Wu Hong Yi's face turned pale, and he patted his strong chest, feeling very lucky that he didn't listen to Wu Yang Feng's words and joined him to fight against Lin Yu. Otherwise, there might be a few more corpses here. Let's go. Let's go back. Remember, when you see that Lin Yu in the future, please be careful. This guy, I can't afford to mess with him. Wu Hong Yi sighed. The Wu family got up and walked towards the ruins. Wu Hong Yi and others just left. The corpses of Wu Yang Feng and others who stayed in the hall changed. The blood of several people seemed to have life, and gathered in one place, turning into a bloody amber. Finally, it flew into Wu Yang Feng's tinling guy. The next moment, Wu Yang Feng's body twitched, and a human figure flew out of his body. Looking at the corpses all over the ground, the phantom of the human form was furious. Damn, hate, boy surnamed Lin, I will definitely make you pay the price. After finishing speaking, the phantom puffed out and disappeared in a puff of green smoke. On the other side, Lin Yu has already left the ruins, and summoned the wings of the sky to fly high into the sky. At this moment, the sky in the entire secret realm was dark, and a portal similar to an entrance appeared in the middle of the jungle. That's the way out of here. The secret realm is about to close. Lin Yu shook the wings of the sky, flew near the exit, passed through the water curtain, and appeared in the world outside the secret realm the next moment. Below is a sea of Wang Yang, where many giant ships are docked, waiting for the evolutionaries returning from the secret territory. Lin Yu didn't care about this, he shook his wings and flew towards Qinghai Base City. Not long after Lin Yu left, all the evolutionaries who entered the secret realm were forced to be transported out of the secret realm no matter what they were doing. Dropped into those big ships waiting outside. After the Wu family and other families came out, they hurriedly drove towards the base city of Qinghai in a big boat. Only the Yang family, a few members who just came out have been standing on the bow, waiting for Yang Feng and others. How did they know that Yang Feng and others had already died in the secret territory, and could never come out again? On the other side, Lin Yu had already returned to the base city of Qinghai City, fell from the sky, and walked towards the Yi family's territory. This trip to the secret realm, he can be said to have made a lot of money. First of all, he entered the secret realm and obtained system rewards for completing tasks. Then after entering the secret realm, kill so many monsters to get the crystals, the fire of the nether world, and various props obtained by opening the treasure chest of the secret realm, etc. In the end, Lin Yu also killed Yu Yang Feng and others, and the materials they collected were also known to Lin Yu. These materials are enough to greatly increase the strength of the little girls around Lin Yu. Stepping briskly, Lin Yu entered the territory of the Yi family, and now he is the great benefactor of the Yi family. The Yi family who saw him greeted him warmly. After Lin Yu responded with a smile, he went straight to Yi Ning Shuang's villa. As soon as he entered the door, Lin Yu's figure was seen by several little girls. Yi Ning Shuang, Ling Shuiya, Zhang Xin, Zhang Ru and Qin Linger surrounded Lin Yu one after another, looking up and down. Are you okay? Zhang Xin asked with concern. 
Lin Yu waved his hand. What can I do, it's fine. Hearing what Lin Yu said, all the girls breathed a sigh of relief. Zhang Ru grabbed Lin Yu's arm and sat down on the sofa. What does the secret realm look like? What did you encounter after entering, and what did you gain? After returning from the sea, the little girls have been in a state of worry and curiosity. On the one hand, they are worried about Lin Yu's safety, whether the secret realm will be dangerous, and whether Wu Yang's family, who will also enter the secret realm, will take action against Lin Yu? Now that Lin Yu is back safely, this issue is no longer a concern. So, now the little girls are even more curious about what exactly did Lin Yu encounter and what did he gain after entering the secret realm. Lin Yu was in a good mood, facing Zhang Ru's little girl's question, she had no choice not to answer. After stroking the latter's little head, he roughly told everything that happened between entering the secret realm and leaving the secret realm. When they heard that Lin Yu was being hunted down by Wu Yang Feng and others at the last moment, the little girls raised their hearts to their throats. Then what was the result? Ling Shuiya asked. Lin Yu deliberately paused, took a sip of tea and continued, they are all dead. Yi Ning Shuang took a deep breath when she heard that, all the members of the Yu Yang family who besieged Lin Yu were dead. What the hell? Those who entered the secret realm this time were all high level and masters of the Yu Yang family, but now that they all died in the hands of Lin Yu, wouldn't the Yu Yang family have already been destroyed? It is absolutely impossible for Yu Yang Feiyu's mother and the rest of the Yu Yang family to support the operation of the Yu Yang family. Without Yu Yang Feng's protection, most of the properties of the Yu Yang family would be swallowed up by other families. Then what are you going to do now? Yi Ning Shuang asked. Now she has completely convinced Lin Yu, such an existence, whether it is strength, means, or concept, is beyond her own. That being the case, why don't I listen to Lin Yu's plans for the future? When Lin Yu heard this, the corners of his lips twitched slightly. Strike while the iron is hot, frost the frost, you gather the top 30 strong members of the Yi family, and we will go to Wu Yang's house and raid the house. Copy the house. I like this. Zhang Ru was the first to jump up from the sofa. How can such fun things be missed? Affected by the irascible brother Lin Yu, the rest of the little girls also stood up at this moment. Yi Ning Shuang didn't refuse Lin Yu's order, anyway, the Yu Yang family was over, even if the Yi family didn't take action, in Qinghai City, many families who had a feud with the Yu Yang family would definitely not let them go. Wouldn't it be better for the Yi family to take over all the properties of the Yu Yang family and strengthen themselves? Soon, the strong members of the Yi family were assembled, and Yi Lin led the team. When Yi Lin knew that Lin Yu had killed Yu Yang Feng and the others, his eyes lit up, and he admired Lin Yu even more in his heart. In the end, under the leadership of Lin Yu, Yi Ning Shuang and others, the Yi family troops marched mightily towards Yu Yang's family. At the same time, the Yu Yang family headquarters. A member of Yu Yang's family bent down. Ma'am, we have waited outside the secret realm for half an hour, but we still don't see the patriarch, young master and the others come out. Liu Yuanshou frowned tightly, she had an extremely bad premonition in her heart. Have the others come out? Wu family, Yi family, didn't you ask about what happened in their secret territory? Liu Yuan asked. The members of the Yu Yang family in front of him were a little hesitant, and guessed for a long time. I have already asked about the Wu family. The head of the Wu family and several deputy heads of the Wu family are silent, and it seems that there is something difficult to say. It's unspeakable. Lu Yuan was even more puzzled, what happened in the secret realm? Just as he was hesitating, a person came rushing from outside the door, shouting as he ran, Madam, it's bad, it's bad, someone from the Yi family has come and said they want to take over all the property of our Yang family. What? Lu Yuan stood up with a bang, her face furious. She is also a tier 2 evolutionary, her strength is not weak, and she occupies a high position in this Yang family. How can she bear this anger? She immediately walked out of the hall. Come on. Follow me to have a look. Have you bullied my Wu Yang family? As he spoke, he led a large number of members of the Wu Yang family towards the outskirts of the Wu Yang family's territory. After waiting, Lu Yuan saw Lin Yu and dozens of Yi family members standing outside the territory, confronting members of the Wu Yang family. What do you want to do? 
Liu Yuan walked over and shouted sharply. Yi Lin is the representative of the Yi family. He took a few steps forward and looked directly at Liu Yuan. Mrs. Liu, the head of your Yang family is dead, including most of the members of the Yang family who entered the secret realm together. Now, our Yi family, come to take over your Yang family's property, I hope you will not resist. When Liu Yuan heard this, her face turned pale, and she pointed at Yi Lin and yelled, You bastard, curse my husband and son for dead, and spit shit all over your mouth. I advise you to leave quickly, or don't blame me, the Yang family, for being rude to you. Her man Yang Feng didn't come back, and there was only one second rank strong man in Yang's family. Facing the Yi family's persecution, Lu Yuan only dared to call out like this. Madam Lu, look here. Suddenly, an untimely voice sounded, and Lu Yuan and other members of the Yang family couldn't help but look in the direction of the voice. Lin Yu was standing beside Yi Lin, holding a ring in his hand, shaking it in front of their eyes. Look what this is, is it Yang Fangs? Lu Yuan just glanced at it, and tears welled up in her eyes. Yang Feng had been wearing this ring since she was a child. She had seen it for more than 20 years, how could she not recognize it? This is Yang Feng's ring. But now, why did the ring that Yang Feng was carrying with him appear on Lin Yu Chen? Could it be that his man, Yang Feng, has really? Little bastard, you killed my husband and my child, I want your life, Lu Yuan yelled, rushing towards Lin Yu. Yi Lin wanted to make a move, but it was too late. Because Lin Yu has already made an advance move. 243 A wind blade flashed by. Lu Yuan's body stopped and she fell to the ground. They were the ones who attacked me first, so why don't I just stand still and let them fail? Lin Yu's cold voice pierced Lu Yuan's eardrums. This woman was full of resentment and wanted to attack Lin Yu, but she felt her body began to become weak and finally lost consciousness. Mrs. Yang's family died in front of him and others, and the remaining members of Yang's family were completely messed up. Seeing this, Lin Yu waved his hand, and Yi Lin led the Yi family into the Yang family's territory, quickly controlling everyone in the Yang family with lightning speed. All the rebels were killed, and the rest were all locked in the confinement room. In fact, the Yi family has long hated Yang's family. Yi Zhanshan is actually very powerful. When he was the head of the Yi family, he was the strongest in Qinghai base city after Yang Feng. But later, Yi Zhanyan colluded with the Yang family and attacked Yi Zhanshan. This caused Yi Zhanshan serious injury. Therefore, the Yi family had a lot of grievances with the Yang family. As for Lin Yu, it was all because of Yang Feiyu. If this guy hadn't provoked Lin Yu, things wouldn't have escalated so quickly. Well now, Lin Yu alone has brought down the entire Yang family. The Yi family took over the resources of the Yang family and became the most powerful force in the base city of Qinghai. As for the Wu family, Wu Hongyi was afraid because of Lin Yu's relationship. When they saw the Yi family, they would take a detour, and did not dare to participate or interfere with the Yi family's lightning-like rule over the Yang family. In just three hours, the Yi family controlled the lifeline, property, manor, and resources of the Yang family. Lin Yu took the little girls to walk in the territory of Yang's family, taking whatever they fancy. After going around in a circle, everyone went home. It was already late at night, Lin Yu held back her excitement and went to bed with her sister Hua in her arms. As for the various resources obtained today, let's liquidate them tomorrow. Next day. When Lin Yu woke up, the sun was already high, and Zhang Xin and Zhang Ru in his arms had already left. After Lin Yu got up, he had a simple meal, then went back to his room and began to sort out yesterday's harvest. Yesterday's harvest is mainly divided into three parts. The first is the reward you get after completing the system options. The second is to open treasure chests from secret realms and collect various treasures and mutated plants. The third is Yang Feng's ring. After all, he is the patriarch of a family. If he had no wealth background, no one would believe it. First of all, check the system rewards, which are Diamond Treasure Box 1, Tier 3 Strengthening Stone 10, and Power Crystal 30. Put aside the Strengthening Stones and Power Crystals first, and open the Diamond Treasure Box first. The host opens the Diamond Treasure Box, and obtains the Spirit Beast Egg Asterisk 1, 
the third order strengthening stone asterisk 10, the power crystal asterisk 20, the skill synthesis card asterisk 3, and the skill copy card asterisk 3. Spiritual Beast Egg. A drop of blood can hatch a spiritual beast, which can be used as a pet to fight with the owner. Except for this spirit beast egg, the rest of the rewards are relatively ordinary. Lin Yu looked at the blue giant egg covered with various patterns, which was one size larger than an ostrich egg, and felt hopeful in his heart. Pets, this thing looks good. After thinking about it, I decided to put it aside and talk about it later. Next, it is what Lin Yu obtained in the secret territory. This is more. The first is crystals. Lin Yu has killed many mutant beasts in the secret realm this time. The mutant beasts in the secret realm are different from those outside the secret realm. Almost every mutant beast in the secret realm has crystals in its head. After this trip, Lin Yu harvested 123 first order crystals, 35 second order crystals, and 6 third order crystals. Lin Yu also dug out Nether Flame, which has the same effect as crystals. Tier 1 Nether Fire 118, Tier 2 Nether Fire 26, Tier 3 Nether Fire 8, Tier 5 Nether Fire 1. Among other things, these things alone are enough to increase the strength of Lin Yu's team by a large margin. After that is the Spirit Fruit. The spiritual fruits in the secret realm are not planted fresh like Lin Yu's. In the ruins in the middle of the secret realm, there is even a spiritual fruit manor, which is full of spiritual fruit trees, as well as various spiritual grasses, mutant plants and so on. Therefore, the harvest of spiritual fruit is not low. The first order spirit fruit asterisk 124, the second order spirit fruit asterisk 32, the third order spirit fruit asterisk 15, as for the fourth order spirit fruit, uh, this one does not. Except for crystals, ghost fire, and spirit fruit, all the rest are various props and equipment. More than 30 D level weapons, there are more than 10 C level weapons. There are also 3 B level weapons, 2 A level weapons, the Devil's Staff and the Assassin's Weapon Whirlwind. There are also a lot of props, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and Tier 4 Spirit Seeds. Immortal Grass, Violent Fruit, Emerald Green Vine and other spiritual grasses. Special Envoy Props, including Flying Talisman, Sound Transmission Talisman, Storage Ring, Spirit Animal Pill. Anyway, it was a bumper harvest. After counting these, Lin Yu looked at Uyang Feng's ring. This ring was left by Uyang Feng's ancestor, that is, the chosen son of the Uyang family of the previous generation. The shape is simple and simple, and it is made of unknown metal, which is different from another storage ring that was opened from the treasure chest. Lin Yu tried to open the space in the storage ring, but was blocked. Yang Feng is the owner of this ring, and has imprinted a spiritual imprint on this ring. But that kind of branding must be nothing to Lin Yu. With a thought, concentrate, and assault the spiritual imprint of the storage ring. Only a click sound was heard, and the imprint of Yang Feng's storage ring was shattered, and Lin Yu's consciousness officially entered into Yang Feng's storage ring. I looked around and saw that it was full of stuff inside. The space of 50 meters in length, width and height is almost four-fifths full. All kinds of food, daily necessities and other materials, as well as various props obtained from the secret territory before, and even a modified off-road vehicle. It seems that Lin Yu is not the only one who puts the chariot in the storage ring. 